Like the thumbnail and title say, I played a lot of Xbox Game Pass using the Backbone, and I'm going to give you some reasons why you should buy it to use with Microsoft's streaming service, plus a few caveats. Let's jump right in. So the one main reason to buy a Backbone for mobile gaming is that physical controls are so much better than on-screen controls in most situations. When playing mobile games, I've always hated on-screen D-pads and buttons that obscure the action and offer no tactile feedback. Unless the game is explicitly made to be played on-screen and uses some kind of control scheme tailor-made for touchscreens, it needs a physical controller in my books. This is true for games on Game Pass via the Xbox Cloud Gaming Service. These games were originally made for the Xbox, so in most cases they play best with a controller. While playing games on Game Pass using your phone, you could use the service's touchscreen controller overlay if you don't have a compatible controller nearby. But in most cases, it just feels wrong on every level. As far as I'm concerned, these games play their best when you're holding a controller in your hand. That's where the backbone will be your best friend. When you slap your phone into the device and load up Game Pass, the service instantly recognizes it and lets you control menus and games with Backbone's physical controls. Even this PlayStation Backbone works well, though it does sacrifice the traditional Xbox X, Y, A, B button layout for this PlayStation one in order to accommodate PlayStation remote play. If you buy this device and use it with Game Pass, you'll have to train your brain to remember that X is square, Y is triangle, and so on. If you're buying a Backbone mainly to play games on Game Pass, go for the regular Backbone 1. It has a button layout that more closely resembles Xbox controllers, so you can skip the mental gymnastics and just get to gaming. And before we move on, if you haven't bought a Backbone yet but would like to, there's an Amazon link in the description. You'll find links to the Backbone 1 and the PlayStation Edition, so you can choose whichever device fits your needs. Your purchase using my affiliate link supports the channel, so thank you in advance. Another reason to buy a Backbone to use with Game Pass is the tight integration with the Xbox Cloud Gaming service. Anyone who's checked out my previous videos will know that I'm no fan of the Backbone Plus app. Well, let me rephrase that a bit. I think the app is actually great. What I'm really not a fan of is the monetization model the app comes with. New Backbone owners who want to use Backbone Plus after the free trial period will need to pay a steep $39.99 USD per year. If you want to know more about why I have a problem with this, you should check out my video called 5 Reasons Not to Buy a Backbone for a long rant on this topic, link in the description. But I digress, back to the topic at hand. One of the key features of the Backbone Plus app is that you can launch Game Pass games right from it. For iPhone users, this is particularly nice. This is because there is no Xbox Cloud Gaming app in Apple's App Store for iPhone. Without Backbone Plus, the workaround is to access Game Pass using a progressive web app by adding the xCloud website to your home screen. This is surprisingly elegant once it's in place, but the setup could be jarring to those not familiar with the process. But Backbone Plus skirts the issue entirely serving as a wrapper for xCloud and opening Game Pass games in-app. It's really the most elegant solution of all, and it would be even more perfect without that pesky annual subscription fee. That said, the app does offer a few nice things for Game Pass users. It offers screenshots, videos, and descriptions of games, so you can decide what to play. If you've used a backbone with Game Pass, please jump into the comments to tell me what you think about it. You can also leave me feedback on this video. I really do want to hear from you. The Backbone Plus app's integration with Game Pass is not all perfect, though. There are some major caveats I'll discuss next. One thing I noticed is that Backbone Plus doesn't have an accurate list of games that are currently available on Game Pass. For example, Bug Fables left the service a while ago, but it's still listed here in Backbone Plus. When I tried to launch it, nothing happened. And some games currently available on the service are missing from Backbone Plus. For example, where is Chained Echoes? To see and launch the most up-to-date list of playable games, you'll still need to set up the Xbox Cloud Gaming Progressive Web App on your home screen, which negates one of the best value propositions the Backbone Plus app has to offer for Game Pass users. Then there are Game Pass problems that have nothing to do with the Backbone Plus app, but will impact your experience using the service with a phone and the Backbone controller nonetheless. For example, some games have super small text on phone screens, especially in menus. Back for Blood has in-game text that is super hard to read. I also found the problem in the menus in Power Wash Simulator, though the HUD is really easy to read. They did a great job on that. And of course, games on Game Pass will sometimes have issues like choppy gameplay performance and assets that don't fully load properly. But that's par for the course when using a streaming game game service like this, and it's not a problem exclusively for those using their phones and a controller to play games on Game Pass. But either way, if you're thinking of using a backbone and a phone for Game Pass, you'll want to be aware of these issues. While I don't love that, one of the things I'm hoping you like is this video. If you do, please load up Game Pass into that like button to help other people find the video. Your subs are also super appreciated, and many thanks. So those were some great reasons to buy a backbone for use with Game Pass, along with a few words of caution. Despite some issues here and there, I had a great time diving into Game Pass with my backbone. Backbone. I still think it's an essential device for those who want to use the service with a phone. If that's you, you'll probably want to pick up a Backbone or a similar controller. But before you do that, check out my video on 5 reasons not to buy a Backbone by clicking here. Chris from Late Stage Gaming, out.